Hi everyone! In this video, you're going to discover the best IT career paths for beginners. My name is Lauren and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro fast. Let's get started. It can be difficult to figure out where to start a career. That's especially true for a career in IT, where roles seem to need esoteric knowledge to perform well. While that's not necessarily the case, it's still a good idea to have a solid understanding of what you want to accomplish with your career and how to accomplish it. In this video, we'll highlight some great career paths in IT for beginners and what knowledge domains can help support those career paths. Software Engineer If you know a programming language or two, you'll be in demand. Software engineers design and develop software. The great thing about this career path is that you don't even need a background in coding to get started. There are many options to learn how to code, and it's never too late to switch to a career in software development. Being a software engineer can open later positions in software development. If you eventually want to lead people, you can move into management and become a director or product lead. If you want to work entirely on conceptual design, then you can become a software or systems architect. Finally, if you want to stay a developer, there are opportunities to grow your sophistication and knowledge of technology development. Core to this career path is an understanding of one or more programming languages. It's better if you have a conceptual understanding of modern software design and security concepts. The more information you have about not only how to code, but how to design and develop software, the better. Systems or Network Administrator Systems or Network Administrators are the glue that keeps organizational technology running. They're responsible for ensuring endpoints run well, that the corporate network remains operational, and that server and cloud infrastructure are available and performing optimally. While it's possible to start your career as a systems or network administrator if you have the training and certifications to do so, it's also possible to start as a help desk technician or other first level support. Doing so will not only expose you to end user needs and concerns, but it'll also give you the experience you need to support a rewarding career in infrastructure management. To pursue this career path, you should understand how authorization policy management works for relevant infrastructure. Given the ubiquity of Microsoft services, you can't go wrong with understanding group policy management and Active Directory. The same can be said for the management of Cisco networking equipment or AWS, Google, or Azure cloud environments. Ultimately, your career as a systems or network administrator is only limited by the breadth of your technical knowledge. Security Engineer Security engineers understand an organization's technical and administrative controls needed to secure information and ensure its integrity. Security engineers can effectively pursue two different career paths. The first is security operations, which is mainly concerned with operating the infrastructure that keeps an organization safe. The second is governance, risk and compliance or security risk management. That is primarily concerned with risk mitigation through organizational reviews, training, and other exercises designed to build staff and business resilience to cyber threats. The great thing about a career as a security engineer is that you gain broad exposure to all organizational technology and the teams that operate that technology. Consequently, you have the ability to switch careers if security isn't your calling. Alternatively, if it is, then you can expect to move into a senior engineer role, architect role, or management. To pursue this career path, you need to have some understanding of technology and a keen eye for compliance. You should also understand general security principles and how to apply them practically. There are many educational programs and certifications with most of those available online. Data Analyst 
If you have a knack for mathematics, statistics, or working with large data sets, then data analytics may be your calling. Data analysts take large data sets, structured and unstructured, and draw conclusions based on those data sets. Those conclusions may be internal to the organization and inform business direction. They may also be client or customer facing to provide opinions and advice based on inputs. Being a data analyst requires some knowledge of how to organize data into usable sets. It also requires the ability to design algorithms or conditional logic that can draw conclusions from data. Over time, you can expect to hone your skills as a statistician or analytics engineer, move into data architecture, or expand into management. Project management. Project management is a critical learned skill, but like all the other career paths in this list, project management doesn't require esoteric knowledge to become a project manager. You should understand how to plan and divide work efforts into manageable chunks. You should also have an understanding of negotiation and how to broker a compromise with competing priorities and teams. Project management is an end in itself. There are increasingly complex projects that require increasingly sophisticated and strategic management. As a project manager, there's no limit to how you can apply your skills to projects. Like other career paths in this list, you can also branch into management and would be well prepared for a CTO or CIO position later in your career. It is strongly advised that you obtain your PMP certification. Short of formal project management training, that's an excellent way to enter the field. To obtain your PMP certification, you need to take a rigorous exam that's passable with either a non-trivial amount of studying or practical experience. There are many career paths for beginners that span almost all areas of technology. Few technology careers and occupations aren't available to beginners. Those avenues not available to beginners involve strategic knowledge and understanding that comes with experience. That being said, those are straightforwardly achievable goals and provide good aspirational motivation. The career paths listed here are core functional areas for most areas of technology. You may find that there are other career paths available in technology for beginners. Don't hesitate to take advantage of opportunities that present themselves. Only you have the right answer for how to manage your career and professional aspirations. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.